Now the Raishi mushroom is extremely popular in the hair loss community. So in this video, we are gonna actually go deep into the Raishi mushroom. We're gonna look at what it is, and I'm actually gonna show you at the end of the video an unconventional way to use the Raishi mushroom to improve its effectiveness. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create science-backed videos, just like this one, on how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you're new here, consider subscribing. The question of the day today is, have you ever used Raishi Mushroom? And what was your experience with it? Let us know in the comments below. So what you're gonna learn about today in this video is we are gonna look at, first, uh, I'm gonna introduce the Raishi Mushroom to you uh, and its uses in ancient China. Then we're going to dissect the recent scientific studies surrounding Raishi Mushroom and its various properties to determine whether it's an effective treatment for pattern baldness. And then finally, I'm going to show you three ways of supplementing with Raishi, two of which are our very own hair growth recipes, which Will has personally used with great results. So guys, what is Raishi Mushroom? Well, regarded in Asia as the herb of spiritual potency, Raishi Mushroom has been in use for thousands of years alongside other herbs like faux tea. It goes by many names, including Lingzi and Qi Lucidum, and grows at the base of the deciduous trees. While wild varieties of this mushroom are rare, Lingzi is cultivated today on hardwood logs and wood chips. The mushroom itself has a corky texture and is flat topped. It typically has a red varnish and a kidney shaped cap, and while other colors do occur, Red Rishi is the most well-known and studied. With a variety of therapeutic uses, including immunomodulation, and as an antioxidant, it's no wonder that researchers have focused in on this versatile mushroom and studied it extensively. But the question we aim to answer today is, can Raishi be used to treat alopecia? So first, we're gonna look at Raishi as an inhibitor of dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is a sex hormone converted from testosterone by the enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase. This is a natural process, one of which is not harmful to the majority of individuals. Men with a genetic predisposition to male pattern baldness, however, are sensitive to dihydrotestosterone in the scalp. This is the leading cause of androgenetic alopecia. Fortunately, for sufferers of androgenetic alopecia, dihydrotestosterone inhibition is possible. With proper inhibition, hair loss may be reversible and hair growth can occur in a natural, undisturbed manner. One such manner is with Raishi mushroom supplementation. Now, a 2005 Japanese study tested 19 species of mushrooms to determine their 5-alpha reductase inhibitory effects. First, researchers prepared ethanol extracts of each of the 19 mushroom species included in the experiment. In the first part of this study, scientists added the ethanol extracts to a suspension containing rat liver and prostate microsomes. The purpose of this experiment was to determine percentage of inhibitory activity of each of the mushroom species. Raishi showed the most percentage of 5-alpha reductase inhibition, falling between 70 and 80%. For reference, the next most effective mushroom, Pleurotus osteoratus, showed an inhibitory percentage of around 60%. Next, researchers looked at the growth rate of prostates in castrated rats. As the prostate size is directly proportional to testosterone levels, this experiment aimed to determine whether Raishi mushroom could inhibit testosterone's effects. Now, the rats were split into three groups. The first group was the control group, receiving only testosterone. The second group received both testosterone and Raishi mushroom, or G. lucidum, at 1.5 milligrams per kg, and the third received both test and a 50 milligram to kilogram concentration of the lucidum. While the results did show that both concentrations of Raishi reduced prostate weight below that shown in the testosterone control group, the lower concentration interestingly was more effective at doing so. Now for those with hair problems, uh, what should the main takeaway be from the study? Chiefly, Raishi mushroom is an effective inhibitor of 5-alpha reductase, thereby reducing the amount of DHT produced within the body. For those with androgenetic alopecia, this is a critical find. 
it means that reishi mushroom supplementation can significantly reduce DHT levels, protecting the DHT-sensitive hair follicles from miniaturization. Next, let's look at reishi as an antimicrobial. With antibiotic resistance rapidly increasing, natural methods of fighting various microbes has quickly come to the forefront of scientific research. Not surprisingly, reishi and other Chinese herb medicines have undergone extensive study. This is due to their thousands of years of use as part of traditional Chinese medicine. In a study by Qureshi et al, reishi mushroom was collected, dried, crushed and then extracted through one of three methods, either methanol, ethanol or acetone. In addition, a negative control, which was distilled water, and a positive control, the antibiotic, um, were also used. Each of the five solutions was added to the plates of six different bacterial pathogens and each plate was then incubated for 24 hours. Each of the tests were repeated three times and the results were thus. Now, while none of the reishi extracts didn't exceed, sorry, while none of the reishi extracts didn't exceed the positive control results of the antibiotic, some of them did come quite close, namely the acetone extract against B subtilis and K pneumoniae. Additionally, all extracts did show a zone of microbial inhibition over the negative control. You may be wondering, what good is an antimicrobial against hair loss? Well, consider that not all forms of alopecia are due to DHT sensitivity. Other forms of hair loss do exist, caused by such things as fungal infections and antibacterial, and sorry, and bacterial growth. With the addition of an antimicrobial agent like reishi mushroom to your hair care routine, not only can you ensure that your scalp stays healthy, but you can also keep your hair follicles from becoming blocked or clogged. This will ensure that your hair strands have the best environment in which to develop and grow. Next, let's look at reishi as an immu immunomodulator. One particular form of alopecia, alopecia areata, is an autoimmune form of baldness. The immune system works to keep the body safe against foreign attacks, and these attacks include viruses and bacteria. For those with alopecia areata, the immune system attacks the hair follicles, causing hair to fall out and follicle damage. This leads to patchy hairs, though if left untreated will lead to full hair loss over time. There are a number of treatments which individuals with this type of alopecia undergo, and while some may treat the hair issues at the time, it's important for the root cause of the hair loss to be treated in order for a permanent solution to be found. Is reishi such a permanent solution? Well, reishi mushroom has proven to work as an immu immunomodulator. Essentially, this means that reishi can activate the immune system through chemical manipulation. While no studies on reishi's effect on alopecia areata currently exist, it isn't a far jump to say that reishi may be beneficial in such treatment. After all, a proper immune response would lessen the attack on hair follicles and encourage the growth of healthy hair. So that's what the science is saying about reishi mushroom. So it's, it's looking like it could be a good thing to add in. So I'm now gonna show you how to start adding it into your hair care routine. If you're ready to experiment with reishi mushroom, you'll be happy to know that there are a variety of methods you can try. First is you could make your own reishi shampoo. Now, store-bought shampoos are full of chemicals and they're very hard on your scalp. So we've got like a little, little um, recipe for you to try here. So take half a cup of liquid castor soap, third of a cup of aloe vera gel, half a cup of green tea, 10 drops of vanilla essential oil, and one cup of reishi extract. Bring a pot of water to the boil, remove it from the heat, and add in the reishi mushroom to steep. Allow to cool to room temperature, then discard of the reishi solids. Combine the reishi tea with the rest of the ingredients, being sure to stir thoroughly. Then apply the shampoo to wet hair, taking two to three minutes to massage into the scalp, and the shampoo can sit for up to five minutes and then rinse completely in lukewarm water. Now this potent combination has a variety of nourishing elements, which are also stimulating hair growth and promoting a clean scalp. The aloe vera gel is the main soother in this recipe, protecting the scalp from irritation and itchiness. The reishi, which inhibits 5-alpha reductase, and the vanilla oil extract, which stimulates hair growth, work together to contribute to a healthy environment in which hair can grow. Last, the various compounds found in green tea promote further hair growth and provide a powerful punch of antioxidants. 
What you could also do is add reishi mushroom to a hair growth mask. While homemade shampoos are a fantastic start, you can always go the extra mile and create your own salt scrubs, scalps, ah, scalp scrubs, moisturizers, and even hair growth masks. What you'll need is half an avocado, 10 drops of vanilla essential oil, six peeled and pitted cherries, half a cup of water, and some herbs, including nettle, chamomile, and obviously reishi. Now, bring a pot of water to boil, remove it from the heat, then add in the nettle, chamomile, and most importantly, the reishi. Allow it to steep until water reaches room temperature, then remove the herbs. Combine the herb and mushroom tea with the avocado, cherries, and vanilla essential oil. Add it to a blender and blend the mixture at high speed until smooth. Apply the mask to wet hair and scalp. Massage the mask into your scalp for two to three minutes and then allow to sit on the scalp for 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse the mask with lukewarm water and then towel dry. The benefits of this is that this nourishing and moisturizing hair mask will benefit your scalp in a number of ways. Of course, the reishi acts as an inhibitor of 5-alpha reductase. The avocado provides a variety of nutrients while simultaneously protecting the scalp from dryness. And the cherries add in a boost of antioxidants while the vanilla essential oil works to stimulate new hair growth. Also, you could try adding it into your diet. If you'd rather not play chemist, then you can just forego the creation of your own shampoos and hair masks and instead opt for the easy method of supplementation, which is adding it to your diet. Of course, Raishi makes an excellent tea while providing all of the many benefits mentioned above. You can also add it to soups, salads, and even grill it for appetizing and nourishing side dish. Prior to consuming, soak mushrooms overnight. This will soften the husk which surrounds the mushroom without removing any of its nutrients, or you could take it as a supplement. Now, while there have yet to be any human studies done to determine reishi mushrooms' direct effects on hair growth, the current research does show promising results for those looking to treat their genetic baldness naturally. Of course, combining reishi with other natural treatments, such as supplementation with pumpkin seed oil and primrose essential oil, can enhance results and improve your hair growth over time. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on the reishi mushroom. Don't forget if you're new here, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.